the largest organ of the body. Let's talk about it. In the last few videos I've posted, I have been diving in to the protocol called Blueprint by Brian Johnson, and I've been primarily focusing on diet. Diet plays a huge role in the outside appearance of our skin and our body, clearly. And I've noticed huge differences since eating way cleaner. As I mentioned, I've been focusing on the nutrition part of Blueprint and a little bit of the exercise. I'm getting into that, easing into that. And now, Brian Johnson's skincare routine. I'm picking up pieces of information and I'm trying it out myself. In addition to following the Blueprint skincare routine, I also do a few other things for my skin that are making a huge difference in the complexion and reduction of inflammation. I have suffered for many years with acne. I think a lot of it is due to hormones. Definitely, I tend to break out in the hormonal areas, the jawline, and I've just, I've been through it. I've been through it. <laughs> so what I'm doing now to improve my skin, I'm gonna share everything, everything that's working. First things first, I try to wear my 100% silk pajamas. They're hypoallergenic, they're so gentle on the skin. I have my silk pillowcases that are, again, good for your hair, good for your skin. There's less bacteria, you know, getting impacted into the skin just from the change in the fabric that I'm using on my pillows and that I'm wearing. And they're natural fibers, so much better for the environment. They biodegrade. Next, the basics. You know, I will preach this. It's what we're made out of, people. Water. Drink the water. You don't need the energy drinks. You don't need the pop. You don't need the diet pop. You don't need the juice. <sighs> Calm down. Calm down. I don't mean to go off the deep end. I really don't, but those are not necessities. This is. This is the necessity. Water. Mmm, it's so good. It really is good. You need water. Hydration keeps the skin supple. Moisturize, hydrate it. So we have fabric, we have water, diet. Again, diet, whole foods, veggies, lots of veggies. It's a work in progress for me, believe me. All the veggies, fruit, nuts, lentils. The stuff that's in Blueprint, eat that. So good, so good for our bodies. You made it through the lecture. Now let's get into Brian Johnson's skincare routine that I'm following, almost to a T. He uses primarily CeraVe, so I got all the CeraVe products. I am following this. I'm open to other things, but like, let's just stick to this protocol. Like, let's just see how this pans out. So he uses a different face wash. It's like a, for acne, and I don't have like a ton right now. So I'm using the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I just want hydration. I just want more moisture. I've been using it for a week now. It's very gentle. But before I wash my face, I have to get all this makeup off. I like makeup. I just, I like it. I'm trying to also figure out like what brands are better brands. My esthetician did recommend a line called Skin Better Science. I'll, I'll drop the link below to the website. She recommends that makeup line. I also have talked to some makeup artists and they're like, no line is fully clean. I don't know, just let's do our best. So I'm gonna remove my makeup with Pharmacy Clearly Clean. I love this makeup remover. I've been using it for a couple years. I use about a dime size for my face. I like to always go up because gravity, always pulling us down. Let's just always go up, always go up. Once the makeup is removed, I still have moisture on my skin. I just keep it that way and I go right in with the face wash. Also using about a dime size. 
double cleanse, always double cleanse. In this case, the makeup remover is my first cleanse. Sometimes I triple cleanse. Sometimes I do this double after the makeup. You get, you get the point. Double or triple cleanse, your preference. Tretinoin, after your face is all washed and dried, go in with tretinoin. This I got from a licensed esthetician. It could also be prescribed by a dermatologist, so definitely consult a medical professional. And I've been told and I've read to start with the lowest formula, the 0.025%. Eventually working my way up to 1%, I will be checking in when I go back for another facial. Like, hey, do you recommend that I move up to the 0.05? This product needs to be eased into. So I've been very pleased. I was told that I'd experienced like up to six weeks of tons of flaking. No, I did not. I did not experience that. I had like two or three days of some dry flaky skin. That was it. I don't know if it's because it's the lowest dosage and maybe it will increase with the stronger concentration. Not sure. So it's important to use just about a pea size and I was recommended for the application process to just actually apply it from the outside in first. Start from like the perimeter of your face and just work your way in. That's what I was told. I've been using this for over a month and huge improvement. I'm experiencing less pimples yeah, my, my skin just looks better, and I've been receiving a lot more compliments on my skin. When your skin is getting used to this product, the Tretinoin, it's fine to go in, like, pretty immediately if you want to reduce some of the flaking and the dryness, to go in with your moisturizer right on top. Otherwise, it's good to let the product sit and absorb into the skin before applying the moisturizer. Perfect timing, my camera turned off and was, like, overheating, so... Now it's been close to 10 minutes anyways, and I'm gonna go right in with the moisturizer. Following Blueprint, Brian Johnson uses the CeraVe AM in the morning, which I used this morning, and CeraVe PM, facial moisturizing lotion, ultra lightweight in the PM. Also, I will be linking everything below so you can check all of these products out yourself. I like to be a little bit generous with the moisturizer. I probably still use a dime to a quarter size. And then obviously I'm not going to be exposed to any sun as I'm going to sleep, but this is so important. This is the most important of like anything I've said at all. Besides water, <laughs> besides water, the Elta MD Skin Care UV Clear Face Sunscreen. Invest, invest in this. This I apply after the routine in the morning, even after the AM V Moisturizing Lotion, which has SPF 30, awesome. And then after that soaks in, I go in with the 46 SPF, and I'm good for a while. I'm good for a while. So I'm not gonna put this on right now, but I do put this on every morning. I get my neck, underneath my face, all over my face, my ears, every, just put it everywhere. <laughs> for the body, Brian Johnson uses CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier. So go ahead and lather yourself in some CeraVe moisturizing cream. I'm not gonna lather right now, but I am gonna do my legs. After that is all rubbed in, I do my last step. I don't, yeah, this is not on Blueprint. I don't know if he does, he might. He might use a lip balm or moisturizer. I don't know, I think he does. 
Uh, I use my own that I bought and I'm really, really liking. So I'm just gonna continue to use it. This is Mara Lip Balm. It has Moringa, which is some green, nice plant. Moringa and algae and sea silk. It's a sea silk. Yes. I am more than halfway through the tube and I will definitely be getting more. I really like it. It feels so good on my lips. Teeth are already thoroughly brushed. I'm ready for bed now. It's been a long week. Long week. But a good week, because I'm feeling good. I'm eating healthy, I'm drinking my water, and I'm practicing self-care. Okay, my last two cents that I'm gonna leave you with is start now. I'm a little bit upset that I didn't start sooner. I didn't, I didn't know though. I didn't have the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power, people. It's always power. The more you know, the more you can evolve and you can change and create healthier patterns and healthier habits. So just, oh well, like I don't get the last decade back and I can't, I can't go back in time and do all these things, but I can do them now and moving forward through life. So that's my takeaway that I wanted to share with you. So if you liked this video or learned anything or want to like and subscribe just because, then thank you, please do. It really helps my channel and I wanna share more. I wanna share more with you. I like sharing bits and pieces of my life and holistic health and just what I'm doing. I'm helping myself to hopefully help someone else out there. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.